Hey, what's going on, guys? Goose here, man. Coming back at your video. Hey, man, the Saints fresh off their 38-3 victory over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, Sunday night <clears throat> over there in Central Florida, or I guess, you know, on the coast of Florida over there. Uh, man, Saints now, Saints now first first place NFC South, also first place in the NFC. As yes, they have the uh, tiebreaker over uh, Seattle and Green Bay. Best win in, like, conference games, something like that. But long way to go into the season. Long, long way to go. Uh, you know, uh, don't count your chicken, don't count your chickens before they hatch. Uh, long way to go. You know, the Saints schedule going forward is favorable, but there's still some tough games left on the schedule. Even though there's uh, teams with losing records, uh, you know, this, this is the NFL. Uh, anything's possible in the NFL, so uh, don't count, don't count your chickens before they hatch, Saints fans. But anyway, so Saints winners five in a row. Yes, Saints have won five games in a row. And uh, look, man, Saints Michael Thomas came back last week or should it this past Sunday. And uh, look, Saints offense. This was the best game they played all year long against Tampa Bay. I mean, they thoroughly just demolished Tampa Bay. The defense played phenomenal. Defense hasn't played like that all year long. The offense was clicking. Had Michael Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders clicking. The only the only thing that only bad spot about the offense I thought was Jared Cook. Yeah, uh, Jared Cook fumbled the football, dropped the pass. Uh, but I mean, not much you can complain about winning 33. All right, here we go. San, San Francisco coming to town, four and five Niners as they beat the Saints last year in the Superdome. The game was a shootout. Uh, this game was back and forth, back and forth. Frisco kicked the field goal at the end to win the game after the Saints had, had uh, took the lead with like a little, like like a minute left or maybe less than a minute left. But uh, hey, look, San Francisco is not the team they were last year. Uh, no Garoppolo, no Nick Bosa, uh, no, uh, no no Manuel Sanders, uh, no George Kittle. Uh, Frisco is not the team that they were last year, but the Saints still going to have to come out and play football. They're still going to have to stop the run. They're still going to have to stop the pass. They're going to they're gonna have to prove that they can stop the pass more than just uh, one game because uh, anybody who's watched the watch Saints all year long knows that the, uh, the pass defense has been horrible. But uh, look, against, against Tom Brady, They've uh, they picked them off three times uh, Sunday. They picked them off two times in the first game of the year. So, but hey, Saints got to, like I said, the Saints defense has got to prove that they can do it again. Uh, what's going to have to happen? I, I think I think still Sean Payton's still going to even though Man, even though Emmanuel Sanders is back, Michael Thomas is back, and you know he's and the passing game was clicking. They're still going to have to run the football. I still want to see them run the ball thirty five at least thirty five times a game. Uh, they ran the ball. I think thirty. I think it was thirty-seven times they ran it against uh, against Tampa Bay, and they threw it thirty-five. I mean, when when the Saints throw the run the ball thirty-five or more times under Sean Payton, they win like 95, 96. It's 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 a it's a it's a big number. They win. They're gonna have to run the football. Uh, now Frisco. Let me pull up and pull my thing here. As I said, like say the Nick Mullins will be the quarterback. Uh, I mean, he doesn't scare me. Nick Mullins. Nick Mullins doesn't scare me. Whole, let's face it, the whole four, the whole 49er football team does not scare me. I think the Saints are going. I think the Saints are going to win this game, uh, pretty handily. Pretty handily. Uh, they're a nine and a half point favorite. Is the Saints? Uh, I think that's. I think that. I think that's. I think that. Uh, I think that point spreads about right uh, because there is no home. If, if if there was a home foot advantage for the crowds, this would be. This would probably be around a. <clears throat> 12, 13 point spread, which I think is right. So when I, when I said that, when I said the Saints were going to win comfortably, what do I mean by comfortably? 14 or more points. Uh, yeah, I mean this is this isn't like uh, college. We you know we can blow teams out by 40, 50 points. In the NFL, doesn't happen yet. Yeah, it happens, but it's not going to happen this game. But the Saints are going to win this football game. The Saints are better. They're better. They're better at throwing the ball. They're better at running the football. Uh, their defense, like I said, their defense needs to prove that they can do it again. And just be that consistent force. The Saints have the third best. I think, I think I saw like uh, yards, no yards per game. They got the third. They got the third best defense in the league. I saw a stat on uh, somewhere on that. I know they were seventh when they played the Bears. I know they're seventh when they played the Bears. They showed that stat. But uh, I mean, defense. The defense. Uh, other other than giving up big plays, the defense actually has done a very good job. The problem is they've given they've given up way too many big plays. And that's just uh, been a recipe for disaster for the Saints. That's why they lost to uh, the Raiders. That's why they lost to the Packers. Uh, so, uh, 
but the Saints, uh, the Saints, uh, they're starting to click. Drew Brees, you know, I had questions about Drew Brees early in the year. Was he done? I even made a video about it. He's proven me wrong. Maybe he saw the video. I don't know. Maybe he saw the video. Maybe he said, "Man, look, man, Goose is saying Brees is done. I gotta go. I gotta go show Goose that Brees is not done. I'm ready uh, to maybe lead the Saints to another Super Bowl. Can they do that? That remains to be seen. I still think the Saints have a lot to work on if they want to be in that uh, question to win uh, Super Bowl contenders. Like I said, uh, defense. That's one thing uh, I think uh, needs to be answered. Can they put two games back to back where they play great defense and not give up big plays? They did a great job against Tampa Bay, not giving up the big plays. Uh, they held Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay ran about four. Well, they ran about five times officially. They had one kneel down. Uh, so they ran about four times. Did the Buccaneers? I mean, that's insane. I mean, how can you run the ball four times and expect to win a football game? But they were kind of forced into that because the Saints' offense was clicking, and they got up like 20, twenty-eight, not thirty-one, nothing. So, uh, man, uh, at halftime. Hopefully, I hopefully we, we see more of the same with the Saints this Sunday afternoon against San Francisco 49ers, which will be a late start. 425 kickoff for you guys on the East Coast, 325 for us in the Central Time Zone, and over there on the left coast, 125. So hey, so uh, get your popcorn out, man. Get your little, get your uh, your favorite beverage, whether it's iced tea, whether it's beer, Fireball, uh, Everclear. Hey, I, I don't know. I don't know what you drink, man. I don't know what you guys drink and. Uh, to uh to pass the times watching football me people like people that watch my streams know that i like drinking uh, a little fireball during the game especially when the saints score touchdowns uh i celebrate and yo you guys win too when the saints score touchdowns because i do fireball shots and uh did quite a few of them this past sunday for the saints against tampa bay buccaneers and of course when they win we also do another a victory shot when that happens maybe maybe that'll happen this sunday we'll know who knows but anyway, guys, so what you guys think of this game, man? Are the Saints going to win? The Saints really don't have uh, – the Saints were pretty much healthy. Pretty much healthy. Like I said, Emmanuel Sanders is back. Michael Thomas is back. Uh, no, Drew Brees had that hurt shoulder in the Bears game, but he looked pretty good. Uh, Alvin Kamara, uh, there was some reports that he hurt himself. He hurt himself in the uh, Bears game, but he looked good uh, against the Buccaneers. The Saints are healthy. So knock on wood, Knock on wood, maybe the Saints can uh, stay healthy. Because if the Saints stay healthy, they have a chance to beat anybody in the NFL. Uh, that's but that's what's really with any team, really, especially teams that are, uh, you know, one of the upper, upper echelon teams in the NFL. You have to be healthy uh, because you know, the margin of error those top teams are so is so slim. Uh, it's just uh, it could be one one two players that uh, hurt that could uh, dictate the outcome of football game. But for this game, I think the Saints are going to win. Give me thirty eight. 24. Saints win this game 38-24 as they'll avenge last year's loss to the San Francisco 49ers. Who that?